All right, guys, what is up? Armored Nerf here again. Was quiet, but this time because family stuff, it's been a little rough. Uh, I did get to go home for Thanksgiving and I did get to see someone for the last time they passed away on Sunday. Uh, been a fun week. So I've got stuff here today from tacticalxmen.com along with some other like random fun finds just to show. Uh, Oddly enough, the vest I did buy from them, it looks it looks almost exactly like my other one. Um, uh, yeah, it's about the same quality. It's actually a little bit higher quality. The one I made, I did by hand off the screen. It was janky at best. Um, but it's got all the same straps, all the same uh, McGovins. Um, it's really nice, except for the one fact it smells like cigarette smoke, but they did they did make that right by me, so... I'm good with that. Uh, the next part is I did get the really cool Iron Medieval Warrior helmets um, that, you know, Xavier and everybody else has done pretty much a video on. It is pretty cool. Uh, I like it. I like how sturdy it is. It's actually very, a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Um, and one of the main things with it, you definitely want to have the pads in at all times because otherwise your head will not fit and you will not be able to see. Also, this thing doesn't doesn't close on its own. You have to pull the front part, which if you haven't watched the other videos, I, I believe they do anyways. There we go. Hit lock. Hmm. Yeah, a little finicky, but yeah, uh, can't wait to put some blue LEDs around here and make, give it that whole um, uh, public commando feel. I do personally love that you can eat things while in this helmet, which is another reason why this one's sitting right here. Um, ow. Also, do not store it with the thing down. That will hurt, that will ruin the spring for it. Oh, man, that thing is a lot bulkier than I thought it was going to be. Um, this is the Mark VII Iron Man helmet from, <laughs> from DactylXMen.com. It was kind of a bigger splurge of mine. Um, not the most happy with it, to be honest, so far. Um, I'm going to put it on. I had another video that apparently the audio cut out where I did all this, and I'm kind of upset I have to do this again. I'm not upset, but like, you'll, 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 you'll see what I mean. It's a little tight out of a fit to begin with. I need to really soften the edges if that's even possible. The, uh, <clears throat> the foam on the, or the pads on the inside kind of do this weird free floaty thing. They're supposed to be stuck down with uh, what looks like sticker pads in the back, but that hasn't really worked. Also, it has a free floating uh, battery pack that they really need to really need to check on that. Also, I do love the fact that it can be open and I can. Just like the other helmet, I love that fact about it. It also has this little wonder. Let's see here, if it's on, I think it's on. Yep, that's on, okay. What you put right there. Pull, which is okay guys that's really freaking cool um that's something i'm actually studying to try and replicate for other things nefarious nefarious things but yeah that goes right there i've already got that down pretty much uh there is one problem i really have with it and that's when the leds come on this side uh well there's one problem i have with being able to see out of it i need to turn it off otherwise i cannot for the life of me see out of the right eye um, when on, the LEDs are too bright right around here for me to see out the eye slits. And with that in mind, uh, these, this part, actually the LEDs are around all up here. It's just the eye slits are covered there. And it's really irritating, but for a cosplay, man, this is cool. I mean... Now the, uh, now the not fun part is I'm uh, getting it off. It, this is my one really big major complaint. Okay, after several attempts, I'm now better at that. The one, uh, like, the first time almost cut my ear. So be re like, there's a, there's, there's a scab there from it. So be warned, this is, uh, 
This is pretty tight fit. And I have like a normal size, at least I think I have a normal size then. Um, and it's it's pretty tight fit, but if you, uh, there's that free floating battery pack I mentioned. So you see what it does here, it lights up like that. That is not actual uh, anything covering right there. That is the LEDs and they have a slight bit of, I mean, if you can really see that, I don't really know. They have a slight bit of like right here is where these are. It's, these cover the whole thing and then there are little isolates you see out of, which is, I mean, how they did it is pretty cool. At the same time, no, but I, I get it. It's pretty cool with the whole thing put together. It's a lot of fun and I can't wait to do more with it um, and have more fun with it and do different various nefarious nerf things with it. And this is a magnetic ring. That all said, uh, I do enjoy it. Um, I'm probably, I'm going to give, I'll put a link in the description as well. Uh, I will give this four stars out of five. Uh, just cause it is really cool. I do love it. It's really cool. Like, what the, come on. But, uh, it's a very tight fit. I wish they had, um, uh, I wish they had put a sizing chart with it so you could like, you know, measure your head first. I mean, it hurts. Um, uh, it, and that's for all stuff that I got off of them. Now then, for some just random cool stuff, I did have a thrift find that... Power Rangers, come on. I'm hoping this thing can get upgraded a little bit because it does actually fire darts. And then have guitar sounds. However, this will not fire standard length darts. It will not fire short darts. It fires at specific darts, so I'm gonna have to rebarrel that, unfortunately. And the spring is pretty wimpy. But that. And then. Apparently, you power up with the Power Rangers, and then. So that's fun. Next part is what I have found to be my new favorite uh, sock delivery mechanism. This is a Nerf tennis ball launcher, which I didn't even know existed really. It has a small catapult on the inside. And, uh, well, gotta catch it too. Um, it does use rubber bands. Uh, pretty sturdy ones from the look of it. All right, and now, if you will pay attention, on the firing demonstration. This is one baby sock. It launches with extreme prejudice. Love this thing. Right, and on that note of going different places with my camera and, and aiming at different places, um, I wanted to give you a, a view of a couple of things I've made that I did not make videos on yet. Sorry. So the first is going to be uh, what is now affectionately called Bloody Mary because it did cut into my hand with a Dremel. This thing. Which is a command fire in a case. Observe. Behold. Uh, this is this is probably one of the more fun projects. Both of these were. Uh, it is just a command fire in a case right now. I do have plans to basically cut this all down, expand the hopper, and try to move, have a moving hopper over. But that's what it's going for right now. Pretty basic, at least, to do, but very, very fun to confuse people with. Next up is Desperado, which has been one of my more, which has been one of my, uh, actually probably the most popular thing I've ever made. Um, it, <laughs> all right, let's see. It is a quantum in a case. If you have noticed, yes, I had the MVZ on there, but yeah, it's basically, basically the quantum in a case. I do have a expanded hopper that I use for it as well. It is currently powered by a 3S LiPo. Uh, it can take that for a little bit. I try not to have it do that for, for very long, but that's what that is. All right, and now then on to the main event of this, which is going to be the update with Project uh, My Neighborhood Stuff, which is Behold. This, this continues to amaze me, guys. Like, I I never expected uh, to really do, to really get this and start doing this. Um, Busby has sent us 40 of the Covert Squad uh, 
I forget what those are. I think they're just covert squads. Yeah. Uh, with their long distance darts, it has the uh, earbuds and stuff, and the uh, thermal hunters. These ones are actually pretty decent plastic. They've got the button thing you can press back here to talk. I don't actually know how you change the team channel, uh, but apparently you can. There's two teams. Um, and they include, and they gave these to us for our event on December 12th. And this, this is really cool. Um, the, I'm not exactly a fan of their uh, bolt action style, to be honest, but they're really, so far they're really, really, really powerful. Um, next up here is going to be the Thermal Hunters, which if you've seen a few reviews, reviews on, they're fantastic. Um, uh, they got everything, including the rail adapter, uh, magazine, darts, and this is, I mean, personally, this is begging to be undermounted somewhere because it's just, a, I mean, it's a mag-fed shotgun, basically, that you can have. But, man, guys, like, yet again, I, I am surprised I get to be able to do this. I'm, I'm surprised I get to be able to give these away. Um, they also gave us uh, Walking Dead blasters. Uh, they gave us Rick's rifle, Andrea's rifle, and uh, the dull barrel shotgun, which, yes, shells are back, and in style, no less. They gave us some of these like, exclusive ones that have um, uh, ooh, that have like this wood coloring. It's weird, but yeah, they gave those for like some of the more exclusive prizes. And I, I, I'm still surprised I get to be able to do this. I'm still surprised I get to be able to show this kind of stuff off. Don't mind the trash can. Um, so we get to give all these out at the next event, man, and and in our January fifth one. This is possibly just about the most exciting thing I, I, could even, I could even hope for. And I'm, I'm so excited to get to share this with you guys and get to chronicle it and get to give these away for, for so many kids, like to, especially right before uh, Christmas. It's going to be great. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. It's been a great time. Uh, like, subscribe, do the thing. Uh, I, I'm just so glad I get to be able to do this, guys. Stay classy. Arbiter, signing off.